What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to do another unboxing. Uh, it's been a little bit. Uh, the last one we did was about a month ago. This is another knife, as you saw. I've uh, been eyeing this one for quite a while. Um, was uncertain if I wanted it because of the use. It's unlike any other knife I have um, in how it's configured. And so I was unsure if it was something I would like to have. Um, but at the price point, I figured I would... Uh, get it and if I didn't like it I could always probably just flip it so at this point uh, we're gonna get into this um, and to do so I'm gonna use my CRKT IBI Foxness design you saw this uh, before very neat knife uh, we're gonna use this to open it up and uh, see what we got in the box so speaking of box as you can see here this comes in a wood box never seen that before in another knife uh, looks like this plastic just slides right out, it's sealed with a little piece of tape. Um, it is loose in here, it's supposed to be a little more secure. There's a little slot in there, I'm assuming the, the knife blade should be in. Um, it is a wood handle, black blade, and this is a uh, Opino or Opino, I'm not really sure what that is. Number 8 in black. Uh, I went with the black, I think it looks better, um, but the typical is a chrome sleeve with a stainless blade. Uh, which aren't bad. I think those come in around $17, $18, somewhere around there. Maybe a little cheaper some places. Um, this is harder to find uh, on some places, but this is about $45. So there is a bit more jump in price with the, the black coating and stuff, but I do think it looks better. So we're going to open it up and see what we got. Place that to the side for a second and see what we got down here. This is in uh, French. Uh, can't read any of that. As you can see, it is made in France. Um, the idea I want to say behind this knife is something you would bring along. It's, it's to like a picnic. It's it's non-assuming. Uh, you know, it's not very threatening looking and stuff. It's meant to cut you know some cheese and some meat and stuff like that carry it in your pocket you could use it as a, a nice little tool but it's not meant for heavy hard work or anything like that um, the finish on it's a uh, it's not too bad it's a little oily which isn't uh, again bad but uh, I don't know if you can pick it up there's there's marks in the blade it looks like it was uh, sometimes drug across the blade all the way down though so it looks like it's a, a forming thing more than anything it's not like uh, something to happen in shipping or processing there's there's marks along the whole blade there but uh, here's what we got Let's see if we can focus a little better it's pretty neat uh, good size I guess compared to the IBI it's a little bit longer in blade length uh, handle is uh, fairly similar it's a little bit longer but not uh, not more than a half inch or so. So the the weird thing about these, or the different thing about these, is how they uh, operate. So you can see it closes uh, like a regular knife does. It goes in this nice wood handle, which I don't have any actual wood handle uh, knives until now. And then it's a non-flipping, it's a manual opening, old school style knife. You just something like almost like your grandpa would carry right back in the day before they had all the new knife technology and then you can see there's a slot all the way down here there's a little barrel here and what this is supposed to do is turn to lock the blade and it does so if you can see there i just rotated this barrel around and now this can't close there's no way it's going to close on your hand and that gives you the uh the rigidity to be able to cut stuff so pretty neat uh, very lightweight I mean super lightweight I don't have any of the stats on this I didn't print them out or anything on blade length or materials or anything like that I doubt it says it and if it did I probably couldn't read it, it just says Opino uh, Inox I-N-O-X um, number eight made in France so that's it right there that's the Opino number eight it feels uh, fairly good in hand actually for just being a I mean it's very contoured 
uh, if you look at this, has a lot of uh, contouring in the handle here. The butt end, it's uh, chamfered down. But really, there's like this big belly here to go in your palm. Uh, the one major thing with this, there's no pocket clip. Uh, I don't have many knives that don't have pocket clips. They're meant to just rest in the bottom of your pocket. The problem with those, generally, is that you put it in your pocket, whatever way it goes, and as you're walking and stuff, it kind of slides down and gets in the bottom of your pocket. So that can be annoying. There is a company that makes a clip for this. I'm not sure I would get that. Um, I, I want to see how this would be resting in the pocket. Also, there are a lot of people that make leather slips for these. So you would put this in a leather um, pouch, essentially, and put that in your pocket. Um, that can help it keep it more vertical and more protected um, from anything else in your pocket so you're not damaging the finish and stuff like that. Um, it's not very easy opening, but it's not ter it's, it's not super hard to open. Uh, I guess the biggest thing is there's a little nail nick. It's, I don't know if it's, you can see it, but there's a little nail nick right there uh, to help open up the blade. And you pretty much do need it because it sits so far down in this handle that unless you have really, really grippy fingertips, it's going to be hard to open. Like I, I, it, it's very hard to open without using that nail nick or grabbing this very end of the, the knife blade and then opening it up. Um, I assume it'll probably loosen up in time. The wood will wear down. It's, um, I think it's just a pin that goes through the wood is the way they have it in here. And then they just put this barrel thing on here or whatever they could. I don't know what this is called, but I'm just calling it a barrel. Um, putting that over the pin. In fact, yeah, actually, you know what? You can see the pin right there. So it's just like, uh, I'm sure they just drive it in and then slide this guy over it. Um, very nice though. I mean, for the price point, it's a, it's a cheap knife. I want to try to use this for some food prep actually um that's my main idea with this i don't know if it's try actually i got a piece of paper here let's see if uh yeah if you can catch the edge of the blade on there just right there it goes probably needs a little bit of cleaning up because it's been bouncing around in that wood box um and it was quite dusty but uh not too terrible right out of the box. I'm gonna say for now, this is a win. Um, maybe I'll make a little video doing some food prep with it, but uh, I'm thinking I could take this along um, if I'm out, you know, and I do something along the lines of a picnic, go on a boat, etc., like that. And I don't wanna use a general pocket knife that I use for cutting packages and zip ties and whatever else I'm using to cut and pry and do whatever else I would. I do with my knives. I can keep this separate and it's, I, it won't be as sanitary as a freshly washed kitchen knife. Um, but in a pinch where you need to cut something and you don't have anything like that, you can use something like this. And that's the idea with this. And again, I, I may not end up using it at all and I may end up selling it, but uh, I wanted to get one in hand. There's nobody that sells these locally. So I couldn't really get a feel of like, do I want this? Do I think I could use this? Et cetera, et cetera. Um, so here it is though. That's the uh, Oppeno number eight in black. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you have one of these, what you like about it, what you don't like about it, what you use it for, etc. cetera. Um, don't forget to like the uh, video, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.